Welcome to another Unturned video. Today we're going to go on one of the most paid to win survival PvP servers on Russia. The server is completely Russian and anyone can purchase an admin ring for extremely cheap so we're going to try to find these people and completely annihilate them. In this video we will go from nothing to quite a rich duo. If you guys enjoy these type of videos and want more in the future make sure to drop a like let's aim for 500 likes. If we reach that like goal I will return on the server and do more. Also make sure to subscribe there is a huge percentage of you guys watching right now and each one helps the channel grow a ton. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. If you want to claim your prize, make sure to join my Discord at discord.gg slash ldg, where over there we host even more giveaways and contact me over there. Today we're going to show another one, which is a freezing dissipator maple strike. To win this mythical, make sure that you have subscribed to the channel, like the video, and comment something below. Chat members also have a higher chance of winning. Also, make sure to check out the 10 mythical giveaway, the link will be in the description below. You can win some sexy mythicals, including an atomic kitsune mask. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are in the server. I have literally joined and I am dead to somebody with a legend drink. Alright, so some stuff about the server. First of all, it is extremely paid to win. I am not going to be solo, this right here is my teammate. And basically the server do have a couple of kits. Now, these two kits, they are a military kit, which gives you a heartbreaker. And there's another one, which is the one that I've just did, which is an eye trader kit. Now, they may be a bit too OP, but when everyone is running around with them, they are nothing. Literally every single person is not going to be naked they're gonna have these type of kits obviously except for the pay to win people because those guys i'm pretty sure that they have metamorous kits they have pw kits maple strike kits zubab kits so that's what we're going to try to do today a lot of people do purchase ranks on the server so we're gonna try to hunt down as much as possible try to cut as much kills as possible and at the end we will see what kind of loot we will get we will basically try to go from rags which currently we have to riches which hopefully we'll just get a couple of kills we'll build a base for sure i'm trying to pick a location i think very close to yavesk or whatever it's called is a good location i don't want to build it too high up but perhaps next to Zavod and under silo is also a good location because at some point we definitely will want to go to the dead zone that's one of my russia check marks and perhaps we'll try to raid the base but probably we will not really find anything because the admins on the server people that buy ranks i'm gonna assume that they raid everything probably the only bases that there are on the server are 20 by 20 full brick bases that are completely empty so we will not focus on raiding we'll focus on pvping trying to get loot from pvp we will not loot any locations and just try to get it from getting kills well, there are a billion chopped trees over here, and there is a base in the middle, so probably is a live base. Oh, it has a wooden door. Okay. I hope to God there's nobody inside, because then I would feel bad. Oh, yeah. There was a guy. In a night trader. Yeah, he did the kit, basically. There's even more shots. And yeah, my teammate killed somebody. Yeah, poor guy was just chilling in here. He doesn't even have a bed. I mean, I won't take anything except for the night trader. I do want an extra night trader just in case I die. I mean, I'll take the medkit as well. Perhaps this one over here is also another live base, but yeah, it's not fully built. Oh no, never mind. Right, let's check out what this man over here had. He has a chainsaw. That's actually good. Oh, he has a chainsaw and an ace. All right, nothing else. Today's video is sponsored by Street Mayhem. Street Mayhem is an unturned semi vanilla server on PI map. It is mostly a survival server with two times loot which has TPA, home, and a vault. They are planning on expanding the network to make more maps than PI, all of them having different features so there's something for everybody. They're also looking at doing in-game events and tournaments later on which will reward the winners with unturned skins or even in-game items. They are still quite early into brainstorming ideas so expect some epic servers from Street Mayhem. If you guys would like to check out the PI server, the IP and port are currently showing in the screen as well and they will be in the description description below and let's get straight back into the action i'm pretty sure that there are people actually in the town we gotta check out the fire station for maybe a gas mosque anyway to be completely honest because we oh yeah there's a guy right there all right he is dead there's even more on the server sometimes you type and the message doesn't even show up it's so annoying yeah he's right there hit him he should be so weak yeah my teammate got some nice Let's check out what loot he had. He had a Night Raider for sure. So he had the kit as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Another release pack, Night Vision. I didn't even have Night Vision. My teammate got a Gauss Mask. That's great. I'll put the chainsaw. Actually, no, I'll put the other Night Raider in Vault. We'll keep the chainsaw on us. Being back up guns on this kind of server is always a good idea, man. So also wear military clothing, finally. We're half Russian military and half PI military. Makes sense. I gotta check out what the guy that I killed had. He has loot piles over here. There's even more shots. Yeah, this guy had a heartbreaker kit. He has a gas mask as well. I'm getting shot at. I got shot again. This guy's with a skull field. I don't think my teammate even realizes. I forgot to get the gas mask. Hold on. I'll just try to kill this guy first before he kills us. Yeah, he's right over here. Bro, die. 
There we go, he's dead. Let's take the chainsaw. We're gonna clear out all of the zombies. Oh, this zombie dropped the gauze mask as well. Okay, let's go. And I think my teammate took the other gauze mask anyway. That could always be used as an extra filter. Alright, well, we got a couple of kills, a couple of backup guns. I've also noticed that the elite spec is much larger than the normal one. Take all of those and we could salvage them. Got ourselves a ton of metal as well. It's pretty good. Maybe over here there's another filter, but no, never mind. Alright, let's keep heading north. Try to find ourselves more people. We'll check out the uh, main cities for a blowtorch as well, because that's something that we will eventually need. And then we'll probably head to start building our first base. But I got myself four extra guns already. That's perfect. That's a great start. Alright, well, there's a lot of loot on the floor around. Yeah, a bunch of SMGs. I think my teammate got a blowtorch as well, by the way, so that's also pretty good. Let's take the meds. We could take the SMGs as backup, who knows? Yeah, we should keep going forward. It's kind of a miracle how nobody is here, because in this town, every single time that I come here, there's always people. Except for today, apparently. Alright, let me see what I can vote. Yeah, the night raider doesn't fit. I could just put the bulldog. I love the bulldog. Bulldog, very underrated weapon, in my opinion. And yeah, there's nobody down the hall. Okay, good. Let's keep going, then. Alright, so I'm gonna start chopping down a bunch of trees. I'm pretty sure on the server there's a stacking mod. So that means as soon as we get 10, it's easily gonna be stacked in my inventory. So we get even more space. So that's great. But yeah, we're gonna build under silo 22. Over there, we're gonna be close to silo, close to military, and close to Zavod. Three locations that are all pretty good for when it comes to looting. You also can stack metal, so that's great. We do need no, some back shots. Pretty sure that's over Zavod, so maybe we should try to go over there. Let me chop down a couple more tree trees. My, my teammate runs over there. Hopefully we don't die. Yeah, there's a lot of shots going on, actually. Alright, we got ourselves another stack of wood. Alright, let's TP it to our teammate. Yeah, we're gonna TP. There's a small cooldown, nothing that insane, though, and at least we can... Oh, I misclicked. Right, let's check out where that Zubak guy is. Oh, yeah, this is the type of bases I was talking about earlier. Full brick, large bases. And with base health, it's impossible to raid. Yeah, he's tapping with Zubak. I don't know where he is. He's probably at the entrance area. Now, it's either a player that actually got a Zubak, or it's a guy with a rank that has it as a kit. You gotta be careful that he's not the owner of this base as well. Oh yeah, he's right there. Alright, he is dead. Oh yeah, it's a normal player. He has no rank. Let's go check out what loot he has. Hopefully he has something good. I mean, Zubek is already a pretty good gun. And there's somebody else. Yeah, my teammate got him though. Oh yeah, he actually seems geared. He has a lot of loot. Oh yeah, Zubek, Nitrator, Raw, Snape, Perskia. No, I don't have any space. Let's just clear the zombies out. Hits aren't even registering. Oh right, yeah, he has a fully decked out Viper as well. A bunch of attachments, a bunch of meds. Full military outfit. All right, not too bad. Let's TPA to our teammate. I don't have any more space, man. I really wish I do because there's a lot of junk that we can salvage over there. Oh, yeah. So my next step is I'm going to start building the base that we can have somewhere to actually store all of our load. Yeah, there's another huge brick base very close. All right, so I think I actually found a pretty nice location. It's behind the rock. It's going to be a bit hidden. We're not going to build anything that's insane, obviously. Probably a 2 by one with some honeycomb at the side, an airlock, something like that. I don't really want to get door camped and then lose everything. Yeah, at least the pillars can be placed because it was something that I was worrying about. Because since it's in a rock, it may not actually be be able to be placed. Right, let's put ourselves some walls. We do need probably more logs though. Yeah, you could put the doorway there. That's a good idea. The only thing if somebody wants to raid us is that they can get on our roof very, very easily. But honestly, it's completely fine. I don't really think that much people actually come to this area. Alright, so we need uh, two more walls and then the three roofs. And then we should be done. And then we'll just make ourselves a bunch of crates. We can make some lockers as well. There we go, we got ourselves a roof. Oh, my teammate got in the way, that's okay. Alright, yeah, we still need a bit more. Alright, so with all of this metal that I have made, I'm going to make a door. Oh yeah, my teammate also placed the roof. Let's go. Alright, door has been crafted. We'll put that right over there. And the base is technically done. Small cozy base, just how I like it. Alright, yeah, so also on the server, I completely forgot. You can buy stuff. You can buy basically, I'm pretty sure, anything. It's all in Russian though. And I don't really speak Russian. But at least they have photos. Let's pick up these items. Probably I'm gonna make myself some crates now. I don't know if we should do another doorway for another airlock, to be completely honest. A bit more safety. Alright, so I'm gonna salvage clothes. Yeah, my teammate gave me the blowtorch. I can make myself some lockers now. Got myself a bed as well. Let's take the blowtorch. Let's salvage these items. I'm not gonna salvage the chainsaw though. 
Let's take the sheets on our inventory and we got ourselves a locker. Let's go, huge. Our first locker. Now we're obviously gonna put the high tier PvP guns over there. Probably our next step is we're just gonna go to Zavod again. Try to get ourselves some more loot. There's still probably a lot of loot of the guys that we killed. Alright, starting to look pretty good till now. Alright, so we came over at this military area. Very soon we're gonna go to the dead zone. But first we're trying to get as much metal so that we can make a billion lockers. Hopefully we get ourselves some pretty good loot from the dead zone, man. I'm hoping for a detonator or something. Because I will raid something today. Even though at the start I said it's not really a good idea to raid on the server. But I'm still gonna test my luck and see if we get something good from a base raid. Yeah, we salvage pretty much every knife, every extra gun that we got. We are back in base. Now I'm just gonna make myself a bunch of lockers and then we'll hit up the dead zone. Yeah, I don't think we should salvage those snipers here as well. Let's drop the plank. We got ourselves a spotlight, which, I don't know, just put it there for now. Yeah, my teammate's giving me a ton of metal. That's good. Later on, eventually, we'll probably even upgrade our base to full metal. Maybe we can even get ourselves some bricks. Yeah, I'm full of loot. Get ourselves a metal wall. Let's do this first since before we actually make lockers so we have ourselves a stronger base and i'll just get raided instantly all right yep i got four walls four metal walls that's pretty good actually yeah i should be able to make another one yeah, we got ourselves a couple on the floor we got ourselves another wall five walls i think i got enough for all of the walls then still got ourselves a bunch of scrap all right put that right over there and we'll salvage this one next all right another one third one has been changed as well all right gotta salvage the crate to do this one all right we'll put that one over there and let's do the final one. And there we go. Yeah, we still need to do a couple more. I didn't have enough for all the walls, unfortunately. Now we just gotta place the crate again. We still, ha we now have a bunch of base parts, which we should keep just in case we want to expand our base later on. All right, boys, it is dead zone time. Let's pray there is a mega zombie because those dudes will guarantee to give us something good. All right, so Yuri, a bunch of knives. We'll take it just for metal anyway. All right, so we split up. I'm gonna check out the silo. My teammate is gonna check out the tunnel. Now we got ourselves a fussy lot. There's another gun over there. Attachments. All right, my teammate looted that area then if he's TPing. Yeah, there's a bunch of zombies coming up now. We just clear them all out. Anything good? Nothing. Okay, they didn't drop anything good, man. They just dropped clothes. Even more clothes. There's one raw. Another bulldog. Surprised how nobody's here, so... Honestly, I think most of the PvP is happening at the south of the map because everybody spawns there. All right, Night Vision. Spec Ops Rucksack. High Caliber Ranger. Another Zubac. Another High Cal Box. Alright, well, that's it. We didn't get anything that insane, actually. I thought we were gonna get something better, man. Alright, there's cheese, bro. Alright, let's get out of here. We used half the filter, basically. Alright, so a bit of a base update. We made some more lockers and we're doing uh, an actual airlock, but we still need metal to get a door. We don't actually have enough. I'm gonna put the gauze mask and night vision in my vault. I don't wanna run around with the gauze mask. But yeah, we're gonna go to Zavod. We're gonna try to see if uh, there are people over there. If not, we'll probably just start heading... Oh yeah, shots. Sniper skill shots. I think those are towards us, actually. Whoever it is, it doesn't really have good aim. Yeah, he's over there. I don't think I have range. I need to med up. Let's get a bit closer. He's right over there behind the tree. Yeah, I hit him once. Oh, there's another guy with sniper SK. Yeah, my teammate killed him. But I didn't even realize. There's another dude. Alright, let's push up. I think they're all dead. I didn't do anything here. Sniper SK, very OP gun, man. It's quite underrated. Ready? Oh, yeah, there's his loot pile. Alright, see Elise back already. A heartbreaker, yeah. A bunch of drums. Alright, not bad. Alright, so my teammate crafted a horde, or he bought it or something, I honestly have no idea, but we'll do that later. Hopefully we'll get ourselves some good raiding gear from it, to be completely honest. Maybe some dragon things and so on, so that we can raid something. Oh, there's a, like a zombie, let's kill him. Oh, detonator. Oh, two detonators. Oh, okay. Well, easy horde beacon then. There's a back, some nades. Probably actually do a horde. We already have one. Wait, there's people here. Bro, there's a duo. Oh, they're dead. Yeah, my teammate chainsawed the other dog guy. Oh, they have- they actually do have guns. They could have killed us. They had two chainsaws, a bunch of glow. We'll take it. Bro, they had no idea, man. They walked all this way up here, and then they just got chainsawed. Oh, well, we can buy charges, so I am actually going to buy. The thing is, probably since there's this shop, it's going to be so hard to raid the base. Yeah, we bought a charge. Gonna have so much high base health, man. It's gonna be crazy. If I just raid one base today, I'm gonna be happy. Even if we do find any bases. Alright, so we're gonna do the horde. But apparently, we can't place anything in here. So I don't think, yeah, it's not gonna work, man. We basically wasted a detonator and twink it into a horde. Unless I think it's gonna go to the very border where we can actually build. But it'll be... 
also close to the town, so it may actually work. Oh yeah, it did. Alright, there we go. I don't think it works for every location though, to be honest. Depends on how big the area is. Yeah, so we're gonna do a horde. Let's hope that we get ourselves some good loads. It's gonna be a two-man horde. Hopefully we get dragon things, man. That's all I really want, to be completely honest. Alright, the mega zombie is here. Alright, he is dead. I think it is done. No, there's still a couple of zombies. I heard them. Oh yeah, now it broke. Alright. Please, dragon fangs. That's literally all I want, man. Dragon fangs and dragon fang boxes. Wait, where even is the loot? Oh, it's right over there. I thought loot literally just despawned. Oh, this is bad. Uh, Echo, two drums, Nightcrab. This is a one-man horde. It's not even two-man horde. We got seven items. It should be 13 items or 14. At least we got ourselves an Echo. I'm gonna make myself some charges. I can make charges, thankfully. I right, take the glow as well. We do have two more charges in here. At least we did get raiding gear. That, that was what we were hoping for. We still have two more Dettos. So we can technically make another horde. We should probably chance it, actually. So maybe we can get a Dragon Fang from it. All right, Sticky. Oh, I made the Bouncy. Oops. Sticky charge. We made another charge. Bro, this Bouncy feels bad. That was a mistake. Probably use it, to be honest. All right, let's put the charge in Vault. All right, so to make more, I need wire. So I need a lot of metal. So I'll probably do a metal run. And then once we're back, we will craft even more. Sucko looks good, though. All right, so an airdrop just landed right over here. Let's check out what it has. Yeah, it's always the same. We got a zoo back, night trader, and the saber, a bunch of ammo, a bunch of gosmos. The gosmos are good, to be honest. They can be used as filters. All right, let's get out of here. I was kind of surprised how there's nobody here. I think I just heard a shot, though. Night trader shot. We must be at the town then. Oh, I see people over there. Yeah, he's behind the bank somewhere. There's a guy there. Hit him once, hit him twice. He's dead. Let's go check out what loot he has. Hopefully he has something good. It seemed like he had some okay loot. I gotta check out if there's any more people though as well. Because I don't want to get third partied or something. It seems like there's nobody else though. Alright, any insane loot? Oh yeah, okay. Well, he has Night Trader. A billion magazines for whatever reason. Yeah, everyone's just running around with the same kits, man. Alright, boys. Good news. We're gonna do our first probably lost base raid. We gotta check out how much charges it actually gives. But we do have quite a ton, I'm gonna be honest. We do craft a lot. It's very easy to get raiding gear in the survey. Especially the fact that you can just buy them. Alright, so let's try, let's try with the normal three charges. Yeah, it wasn't enough. So let's put three more. If it's more, then it's gonna be more than two times base health. Alright, let's give it a try. Oh no, we're through. Okay, alright. Crates, Heartbreaker, Cobra... A saw and a fire axe. Oh, there's even more back here. Cobra and attachments. Okay. Well, was this worth it? No. Not at all. We used six charges for this. Yeah, this was what I was thinking that's gonna happen when we raid in this type of server. So from here, you guys can know that you should never raid on a server where you can buy raiding gear. Because everybody probably logs off with the good loot, man. Right, maybe we can find something else. I see people, though. There's a guy there just chilling. Headshot. Hit him. And Trecho, then he's dead. Alright, let's go. But I'm still pretty happy with the loot that we got from PvP. We did do a horde beacon. We kind of speed ran the server. And we've been here for like an hour and a half. So we didn't really spend that long. Got ourselves a base. Bunch of charges. And we did make some people rage quit. So yeah, he only had a Schofield. Alright, so we just got ourselves a plane. With two lockers as cover. We're gonna circle around the map. Try to find any base raids that we can see. Oh, we almost crashed. Hopefully not get completely rocketed or shadow stalker mk 2 would from somewhere. That would be kind of funny. Alright, uh, here we go. Maybe we'll find ourselves a sky base too. Even though I don't think they're allowed on the server. Yeah, there's people roof camping on these, like, tower bases. Trying to shoot us down, they, they can't hit us. Yeah, these tower bases, usually they're just completely empty and they just use kits to kill them. They're usually people with ranks as well. So we're just gonna keep going on. We don't really need to bother with them. Alright, well... Getting shot at. Oh, maple strike, great. Oh boy, we found uh, some high tier geared players, dude. This could be either pretty good or pretty bad. But I do want a maple strike. If we get ourselves a maple strike, then I consider us as having full gear. Yeah, we're back. I know exactly where we are, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's a guy in front of the tower. He threw a grenade. I hit him once. Oh, let's clear the zombies out. And he's still going up. If we kill this guy, he's pushing us, which is kind of stupid. If we kill him, he's probably extremely geared. Yeah, his speed is W, I'm pretty sure. Or the other guy is going to be camping on top of the roof. 
These zombies are so annoying. Yeah, they're still spamming Maple Strike. So maybe I could try to push him, actually. He probably has a rank or something. He's gonna be camping on top of the tower, dude. Oh, nice. My teammate killed him. Alright, I'm gonna push then. Right, I'm gonna push. Oh, yeah, I hear him. There's another dude with the PDWO. Oh, yeah, he saw me. He's trying to push me. Oh. I got sniped by somebody else, man. Oh nice, yeah, my teammate did Yeah, he has a rank. Or has TPA. Right, I got sniped with a Timberwolf from a mile away, man. Right, so that means that there are two dead bodies here. Yeah, Maple Strike PTWO. Got a golden maple, finally. I'm gonna put the maple in vault, man. That gun is too OP on these type of maps. Let me get my loot. Yeah, we're still getting sniped. Alright, so I think if we stay here, we're gonna die. I don't think it's a good idea to actually stay here. I mean, he's gonna be up there. If only I had the sniper on me. I don't even think I can reach. Oh, my teammate has... One of them is pushing us, actually. Hit him once. Alright, I homed. Alright, well, we bailed. Probably a smart idea. We did get a PDW on the Maple Strike. I got myself an extra Gauss Musk, too, I'm pretty sure. My teammate did get a, quite a ton of loot. If we stay there, if we, even if we did kill them over and over, those guys would be back, man. They would 100% be back. They have a base there, and they have Elite Shrink, so God knows what kind of kids they have. I am really happy we got a Maple Strike and a PDW. Oh, there's a guy there. He seems geared as well. Damn. Alright, he's dead. Let's accept, our, let's accept our teammate's TPA, so... Let's go check out what loot he had. Hopefully something good. Oh, another maple strike. Okay. I'll take that, gladly. Our second maple strike. Alright, so after that, we did leave the server. We did have a good time. We did quite profit in a very short time as well. But if you guys do enjoy these type of videos where we go on pay to win servers, and we try to kill as much people as possible, let me know in the comment section below. I did have a good time. Also, a huge shout out to my teammate for helping me out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.